consequences of that failure. Which I've been given some really fun ammo, so thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get lost trying to find sanctuary. Something about this darkness and... Sometimes you hear things or you think you see things because you know there are still programs out there controlling something that are after what tech pixies remain. And we get to an area where, Angel, you think you recognize this area. You think your bike might be nearby? You're not sure exactly where? But right, you can feel that some of those programs are nearby, within a mile. Not super close, but close enough to make you uncomfortable after what you've seen them do to your friends. Uh, guys, I may be on the menu, and I'm not quite sure exactly how those things actually work to you, like, meaty things, but, um, we may not want to be here much longer, and, uh, I smell gasoline somewhere around here. And as you say that, you hear this screech, you know. They're near. Oh, control, delete, control, delete! Where do you smell the gasoline? Capital T, they. Um, guys, we, we, uh, we, uh, you, you know how, like, there's some street magicians that are really powerful, and then there's, um, him, uh, there, there's something really bigger and angrier that way, so we should go now. Bye! I mean, wait, um, I know why I still can't float, um, 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 and I just kind of start running around in circles. Ooh. Okay, okay. Calm down. Where's where's that smell of gasoline coming from? Yes. Oh, it's a pile of junk just over there. Oh, wait, no. It's actually an assembled bike. Never mind. I freeze. Get on. <laughs> actually, when your character is ready to live their moment, a conflict roll is required. So roll me. You are back to 96. Yeah. I don't have a six in there. No, do you have anything you can burn? Do you have a trait left? I haven't burned anything. Okay, um, burn a trait and reroll the one. And maybe. <laughs> okay, cause that was about to be bad. That was, that was about that to was be heartbreaking. <laughs> but good news. It's your bike. Yeah. And it's still working. It works. <laughs> Describe what happens. Oh, I was. Oh, that was about to be heartbreaking. <laughs> right? Get on. I shout at both of them. Get on, and I like I kick it into gear, and as soon as they're on, I'm like booking it down the street in the complete opposite direction from them. I scrambled into one of the side bet saddles and just hiding in there. <laughs> I actually just had a mental picture of you curling up in a, in a helmet, but um, tech pixies are not that small. <laughs> Woo. Oh, oh, oh. That was about to be, that's not your bike and it's broken. <laughs> right? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I found my bike! So, Angel, where are you going? Where are you taking everyone? So the direction that they were coming from, was that in the path that we needed to get to Sanctuary, or was it in an opposite direction? You got lost, so I'm not sure exactly where you ended up, but I mean, you have narrative control, so you can decide, are you able to get back on track? What area of the city was was the apartment in? Downtown. Was it downtown? Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna literally go in the opposite direction and then I make like a very wide drive around downtown just to kind of make sure that no nothing is following and like take some random turns and whatnot to make sure nothing is on my tail. Until I get to the spot that Trevor said that Sanctuary was at. You're able to get there. What does Sanctuary look like right now? Ooh, not great. Wait. I'm a little, little half haggard. You mean you look, actually look good at one point? <laughs> Dude! 
I kind of imagine there's a hole in one of the buildings from that from where Valentine was when he made the deal. But he found sanctuary. Wi-Fi! I've missed you! Bobby goes zooming inside. Wait! What up? All right, you get to roll to see what's inside. Give me that. How many are we at? Nine still. We didn't lose anything. Oh, we almost did. We almost lost a lot. We lost nothing, though. I found my bike. <laughs> I will say, there's only one way that you can truly lose hope. If you roll to embrace your brink and you fail. Yeah. A candle goes out and you lose your hope die or a chance of getting a hope die. That's the only way mm. you can lose it. Oh, nice. No dice for me? I think you got one more. Oh. Yep, we have nine dice. <laughs> one dice for me. I'll do that. I keep forgetting that I need to roll to see if I get nerve control. Which is a no. So, how many dice do you have now? <laughs> six. It increases rapidly. I've ended with like close to 20 before. Oh my god. <laughs> So, but right, as you just zoom in here without any hesitation, what happens? What does it look like on the inside? You have narrative control. Guys, you know how you said it looked horrible on the outside? Good news! It looks horrible on the inside as well! Ah, uh, they're sticking with the aesthetic. Good for them. <laughs> Not capital T them. There are, of course, various survivors and whichever members of the Queen City Supernatural that have survived and glorious, glorious Wi-Fi. Everybody sees a little Wi-Fi symbol appear above Bodrate's head and I just kind of sit down. Ah. <laughs> Imagine Tech Pixies if all crowded around the Wi-Fi road. Yep. Just like, yes! <laughs> our precious Our memes! <laughs> a couple of Tech Pixies are comparing cat photos. <laughs> yeah, it's the end of the world. How many survivors are there? A handful of tech pixies. Uh, they're all from the same quote unquote uh, forum group or. Yeah, forum group. Subreddit. <laughs> Subreddit, yes. Dang, Redditors. But yes. Bodry will be passing around pictures of cats with the other tech pixies and recharging. <laughs> Amazing. What else does everyone see as they enter? I'm assuming you're all following him. Yes. Angel, after you very carefully park your bike. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I'm like, it's getting parked down a dark alley behind a couple of garbage bins. Yes, and Bob Ray crashed straight through the doors, so there's probably somebody at least trying to get the doors uh, back into proper place. I don't know if you, did you crash or did you like glitch through the door? Oh, glitch through, yeah. <laughs> So you all just see Bodrag instead of crashing as you said. He just glitches through the door and you hear him shouting. What do y'all do? I run in. I see, and I see a bunch of tech pixies huddled around a Wi-Fi and Bodrate like holding up his phone. I'm running. I have cat photos. I have cat photos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I'm 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 gonna nope the heck out of that scenario and go to the kitchen because there's some plants that I can commune with and, and recharge my power a bit. Okay. So I guess Angel, you're the one that gets to be the responsible adult. Yep. Tends to be that way quite often. There's a reason Tech Pixies did not survive very long. Okay. <laughs> In a world where there's not a lot of Wi-Fi, y'all are screwed. Not a lot of Wi-Fi, yeah. and without uh, the digital technology that powers them, they kind of go from nigh unkillable to short and very killable. I'm gonna make some coffee over here in the kitchen, so come and get some when uh, when you want some. They got any murder buzz? Uh, a decaffeinated god would be disappointed uh... in you. Hold on. As I say, do you want to roll to see what they have in the kitchen? <laughs> sure. That will be sure. 8d6. Yeah. Am, am I rolling for this? It has an unknown outcome, so yes. 8d6. 2, 1, 2, ah, 6, ah, 3, ah, 6, ah, 6. Ah. Wow, lots of sixes. And 2, 1. And 
Indeed. Two, one, two. So you get to narrate. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh, good, we got some, we got some espresso ground up. That's cool. Uh, I'm looking at the fridge. It's old, old mayo. Ooh, jar of pickles. Let's see. Ah, apple cranberry motor oil murder buzz. Nice limited edition. All right, we got some free cans. <laughs> Baudry teleports to teleports over, grabs a can of murder buzz, and then vanishes again. All right, so much for commuting with my friends in the apocalypse. <laughs> he didn't teleport very far. He's basically just at the door to the kitchen having the sip. Not quite a tire fire in a cannery factory, but close. <laughs> it's probably like been in the fridge for a while too, so yeah. Eh, you could chew it, but you could still appreciate the texture. Hmm. <laughs> Ew. That's like a, an eraser. So, Angel, what are you doing? I am currently looking to see who is in charge at the moment. Give me the roll. So we're at six, right? Yep. Dang it, Trevor. You lost us two dice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to burn your last trait, or...? I gotta burn a trait, yeah. So let's see. You got one! Yeah! Oh. oh no. And another candle goes out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. For more truths, starting with the fact that the world is dark. I'm gonna establish a truth about my, uh, my particular abilities because I have, my power is expressed through music, but it is basically attuned to the natural world. I need to be in contact with nature and hopefully growing nature to make full use of my powers. So that's why I'm looking for potted plants, essentially, in the sanctuary. Also hoping it's not a hobgoblin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. oh, boy, the ficuses. There are rumors of a lost portable hard drive containing a few tech pixie spells in case everything goes bad or Zero Day decides to self narrate, start uh, self narrating his days. <laughs> All right. I love how that is right up there next to the apocalypse. <laughs> Both were determined a control Z level event. <laughs> also, now I realize why everybody believes I the Tech Pixies were actually the writer. <laughs> <laughs> a little background or a little insight on some of Angel's skill. She is very attuned to like the any cats around in the neighborhood or like alley cats or whatever. She can't talk to them with words, but she does have a very good sense on their emotions, whether afraid or angry or, or what have you. So she can usually have a pretty good sense of what's going on around her, depending on what's happening with any like feline creatures in the area. I like that. That's fun. Some survivors are helping them. It's Tim, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no. He would have been in the hotel. He got squished. Hello. <laughs> Dang vampire. It may not have been permanently squished, because some of them were escorted out to sanctuary, and then who knows what happened after the thing happened. <laughs> He has reportedly been squished. Stay in. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> Kaminar has an ex-girlfriend. 
He does not want to run into her. And she wears a tattered army jacket. Bodrate has given himself a d20 loaded with Tech Pixie magic, which basically is Tech Pixie way of saying, we're not exactly sure what we did, but we crammed a lot of magic into it, and when we use it, something cool or possibly horrible will happen. Can we make it a d100 and can I roll them all magic table? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. A series of whatever Lord of the Ring number that the Tech Pixies thought was a great idea at the time were made, and the first dice actually killed the original Tech Pixie who came up with the idea, but the rest of them still thought it was a good idea. That fits. <sighs> Angel was offered a chance to team up with them, but declined and somehow disappeared from any repercussions at that time. I think they just let you go. The first catch, shifter catch and release program. <laughs> <laughs> Environmentally friendly. There is someone here that knows what Jackie found, but they're gonna be hesitant to talk about it because who can you trust? And that is eight truths. So once again, the world is dark. And we are alive. Wait, we are? What if we're both alive <laughs> and not alive? If we think about it or open that particular box, are we going to get to find out? Ooh, I'll be both. All right, so Angel, as you are looking for someone in charge, someone to talk to who knows what's going on, you... Look around, most people are kind of minding their own business. They acknowledge you, and then one person sees that you're looking around. She says, Can I help you? Uh, yes. I am just trying to find who is in charge here. It's not really a person in charge. I mean, it's the end of the world. I don't think there are many other people out there, unless. Are you one of Jackie's friends? Yeah, you could definitely say I was one of her friends. Yeah, I know she was looking into something, trying to figure something out, and she mentioned something about maybe calling friends in, but I haven't seen her for a couple of days. You know if she's all right? I don't think so. We were supposed to meet at her apartment, but there was no sign of her. No. All the magical scorch working around the area, too, is probably a good indicator. Probably didn't go good, but, uh... Yeah. Ooh, hey guys, I got a limited to paw picture. I just clap a hand over Baldrade's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Don't mind him. So you two are a friend of Jackie's? Yeah, she was helping out here whenever she wasn't looking for whatever that thing was. Do y'all know what she was looking for? We don't know exactly what it was, but we think it may be the key to saving the world from this from this darkness and the creatures that are haunting it. That's something I'd love to see. You know, last time I was here, she did give me something. I didn't really see what it was. It was in, like, this little box. And she said to, like, can keep it safe in case anything happened. Can we see? What's in the box? Oh. I, mean, I, I don't have it here. I figured, you know, might be a little too close. We're already, Sanctuary's already kind of a target. Or, you know, what's left of Sanctuary. I can take you to it. It's a pretty safe place and it's not too far from here. Let's go. I got one more cat picture to get downloaded and then we can go, okay? Ugh. Dang pixies. You hear a very faint screech in the distance. Okay, I'm gonna go! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you still have time to do the thing. I'm <laughs> just like, just, just a reminder. Oh no, Bodrate literally just stops it. Okay, gonna go! Alright. So you all follow this new friend. Who was, I guess, taking the lead and following? I think Angel was the one that spoke up. Do you want to roll? Sure. Also, what is this person's name? We never asked. You didn't ask. 
I haven't thought that far ahead. If you want to ask as you are leaving, <laughs> give me the roll. Oh, I got a six in there. Cool. All right. As we are leaving, I ask, what is her name? My name's Jessie. So as you go to follow her to where she's taking you, you get to describe what happens. Okay. So you said it wasn't far, right? She says it's not far, and she's probably got, like, a bike of her own. Okay. So if she's got a bike of her own, then we should probably double up and someone can ride with Jessie, someone can ride with me. And I follow her to her place. Angel, I'll go with you. We can put pod rate on the bike with Jesse, because I don't want to have to hear pod rate. Just for a few minutes. That's fair. I feel ya. <laughs> I love the just just casual hate between the two. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing an enemies to friends arc here on, on in the game, so <laughs> even Bod Rate agrees. I mean, he knows he's annoying. He just doesn't really care. It's what? the end of the world. Yeah. So we've got Bod right on the bike with Jesse, and we have Angel and Kavanar. Kavanar. I keep like trying to flip up all the letters in there <laughs> on one bike. So Calamari. So Angel, what happens as you follow? We see a few faces pop out of windows as we drive by different buildings, but they vanish quickly. We hear, like, commotion fairly off in the distance, a little off to our left. But we're not heading it that way, so we continue going until we reach Jesse's place. Bodri, what are you doing as you're, right, as you're riding along with Jesse? Aside from, like, probably, like, hanging off in her back like a cape? Pretty sure mostly that, but looking around for anything of interest wise... Yeah, would you like to roll to see if you find anything? No, I'm pretty sure it's mostly just hanging on for dear life. Alright. So you get to the location where Jessie has the thing hidden, and she gets off and says, yeah, It's uh, just in this way. Follow me. And she ducks through a doorway. Um, guys, I've seen this movie. One of you two can go first. <laughs> I follow, but my hand kind of like rests on my gun that is at my side. I got my recorder out, just in case we need to throw up some defensive spells. All right, so Angel, give me a roll to see what happens. Oh no. <laughs> so we're at seven dice now? Yes, seven. Oh no, I'm gonna re-roll. Wait, so roll an additional die for your hope die. Oh, okay. Because I forgot you have a hope die that is separate and it is special. Still doesn't work. Yeah. As you step through the door, what, as you step through the doorway to follow, another candle goes out. is dark. In my satchel, I have a very small plant, which I can sort of use as a last ditch for magical power. Is its name Seymour? <laughs> yes, okay, okay. Amazing. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but yeah, that's what I call it. Um, also, just a reminder, let me know if you're ready to live that moment, because I've kind of forgotten what some of your moments are. A uh, new instrument for me. New musical instrument. Yes, new instrument and Burger Buzz. You found Burger Buzz. Yeah, you did. I forgot yours was finding Burger Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was so happy over it. <laughs> That's why you gotta remind me. Okay, so slightly retroactive. Give me roll me seven d six to see if Hope was actually inspired by that or just oh goody caffeine. 
Oh. Do you have anything to burn? Yeah, I got a trait. Okay. <laughs> I recommend burning the trait to reroll those three ones. Ooh, you got a six. You did succeed. I don't get any more dice. Okay, back to the truths. It's your truth. God rate is actually a restored backup of another tech pixie. Hmm. Bodrate has no idea who that pixie is, though. Don't let it be who we think, who we really don't want it to be. <laughs> one. I don't know. I feel like we could use some of that right now. But... Yeah, that's true. What was the pin that Riza had that they turned into the fake coin? Fougere for mayor. Oh, Fougere for mayor. Yes. Angel proudly wears that pin. She found one just like it in memory of Riza. I love that. Can I just say, uh, when we first recorded that episode, like the first time around, nobody knew how to pronounce Fougere's name, and they all pronounced it differently. But I didn't correct anybody or change it in the in the recording because it was so funny. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> What Jackie found is actually hidden nearby. Oh, on my turn. Okay, the thing is a possession of Valentine's that can be used to dispel darkness. And this item also may contain a small glimmer of the ink to goddess. Ooh. Will you speak the true turtle? important days that happened in the alternate timeline you will see just like a glimmer of the neon crossing in a random alleyway and then it just vanishes and nobody knows why that pops up everywhere oh i like that i like that one last truth is the world is dark we're still alive for now <laughs> we don't know how <laughs> We're following a stranger into a dark room. I think there was a PSA on the internet for this back when the internet was a thing. You have been listening to Twist of Fate, a Graveyard Tapes side quest. You can find the game Ten Candles at CalvaryGames.com. This game was run and produced by Brianna Jean, with Aiden Morgan as Cabinar, Dustin Gray as Baudrate, and Caitlin Sinnott as Angel. 